Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you the new Turbo Boost screen. So let me start it up. This is my startup animation. And this is the Turbo Boost screen, which in bar it goes from minus one bar up to 1.55 bar and uh, I don't know if you can make this out this is supposed to be a turbo bitmap it doesn't show uh, enough in detail on the phone I think or on the video so as soon as you long touch on the touch sensor it switches to PSI and then the reading goes from minus 14.5 up to 22.48 psi those are the minimum and maximum values on the pid according to the obd2 pid standard so this is the new turbo boost uh, i can also make it as a pure vacuum gauge then it goes from uh, zero to one bar and uh, I don't have it in my head right now what it would be in PSI but uh, this is what I normally would use even myself although I don't have a boot turbo but I just want to see the vacuum as negative number and not as going from 0 to 1 bar so this is actually it and I also have the fuel economy screen that I show you the last time I will just show you again so if the engine is not running uh, it does say so and you probably notice it too and once the engine is running but you are not driving uh, the current consumption is shown in liters per hour and when you're driving it does show liters per 100 kilometers uh, i'm just simulating the speed and uh, math value uh, by hand so that's why you get those strange numbers like uh, over 100 <laughs> like 300 something liters per 100 kilometer which of course will not happen so then again if you switch to imperial you get miles per gallon while you're driving and if you're standing still you get gallons per hour so these are the new screens uh, this one in case you missed it from the last video and i'm waiting on the new pcb this is version one i'm waiting on version two which has the touch sensors built into the PCB this time and uh, the LDR is also on this side do I have picture? no I don't but uh, that's how it's gonna be and uh, that's what you see here this is just for me so I can attach the USB adapter constantly and upload code because uh, as you can imagine I did it uh, countless times so and I also ordered the carbon fiber front so that's on the way or oh, well in production PCBs are finished but they it took DHL one week to pick them up from the fab house so they got on the way today and will probably take uh, a week to 10 days till they arrive whatever I order uh, with FedEx from Mauser I get within four days delivered to my door and with DHL I have to drive 50 miles to the next bigger city and pay broker fees DHL fees custom fees and taxes and have to pick up the package because they do not deliver it because I have to pay all those things for it so but anyway it um, normally I even started ordering with regular mail but due to the situation in China uh, I can imagine the mail taking several months to arrive and I just don't want to wait that long so I take the extra cost and have it shipped by DHL 
I just hope they keep their act together. Anyhow, this is it. Little rant about DHL as always. Uh, I do hate them, but I have no choice. <laughs> so these are my new two screens on the color cam gauge mini. Thanks for watching and take care everybody. Oh, and before I forget, I want to again thank everybody who uses my Banggood affiliate links. It does help. Thank you very much for your support. Take care everybody.